Hey guys and welcome back to another video and uh, this evening I've come out for a sunset on, uh, on Portland Bill and it's a lovely lovely evening forecast for lots of high cloud and there is lots of high cloud up in the sky at the moment so we're about two hours before sunset at the moment and I thought I would come a bit earlier uh, to try and scout a few new locations and new compositions rather uh, over the other side looking west for the sunset um, in a bit but um, because I've got so much time and this light is so lovely and golden right now um, I thought I'd grab a shot of pulpit rock now with it being all side lit because the sun is right over there 90 degrees to my right and uh, I'm shooting directly south pretty much at the moment and uh, all this side light is beautiful and it really looks lovely on the side of the rocks on pulpit rock here and the polarizer is coming to its own as well so and also it's a slightly different light being that the sun is over there and it's not like a burning red sky or anything like that it's just going to be blue nice golden light just a really simplistic day shot i've taken a couple of test shots and it looks really nice on the back of the screen so far so i'm just going to dial in the composition make sure everything's fine make sure the settings are correct and then get the shot so i've popped in a 10 stop nd and a three stop soft and the case circular polarizer and the 10 stop nd is getting me about 30 seconds at f16 and it's uh, nice and flat today, the sea's nice and flat, so it's giving a really, really nice effect, which is nice. Really simplistic, and also it helps if there are people around, you can just blur those people out, and um, I'll wait for these people to go, and then I'll grab the shot. So I've had a little walk around and there is some, there's, well there's loads of uh, potential for compositions here, loads of different compositions. Um, but one thing that always draws me to Portland is the weather and the sea. And today it's flat and what I mean it draws me to this place is this place really comes alive when it's bad weather. Um, photographing it in high seas and high tides and big swells and dark moody clouds is um, is really what Portland really means to me it really really is like a dark moody location and when the tide is all the way out like it is tonight it's usually great when the tides out because it reveals lots of little hidden gems but here it's really difficult to get down to the sea because everything's so high and uh, the tide is starting to come back in slowly and I don't really want to get caught off if I am down there and I want to try and find a composition, or I wanted to try and find a composition that I could um, sit out and wait for sunset. But I wanted to try and get a sunset shot looking back at Pulpit Rock. So like, like the last shot, but the other way, looking towards the sunset itself. And I found a few potential compositions, but um, nothing that's really going to work for me tonight because of the clouds. And I don't know if you can see, there's lots of big, white, wispy clouds directly south and there's not much looking towards where the sun is setting and the compositions of the lighthouse from further up that way looking back down towards the south and all that high cloud um, are a lot better and i'd love to be able to get some color i haven't seen a load of color in ages it feels like i haven't photographed a really vibrant sunrise or sunset for a long long time so my fingers are crossed and i'm very hopeful that that cloud up there is going to light up so I think I'm going to sack off my ideas of trying to find something down by the sea and and head over that way and see if I can find a composition looking back towards the lighthouse because it is lovely anyway and um, mainly including in all of that cloud. I've said it now so it's got to kick off and hopefully it does, fingers crossed it does but it looks like it's going to so I think that's the plan. I've still got about an hour. So I'm just going to walk around. Yeah, I'll try and get set up somewhere shortly.
Okay, so I'm set up and I am dead excited about this. Um, I've got a different composition of uh, the lighthouse than I've ever got before. Um, using the 16 to 35 has opened up a couple of new compositions uh, shooting towards uh, the lighthouse from this direction and the sky is absolutely lovely and to be honest I think the shot right now might be even better than a shot if this sky does go off because the side light on the side of the lighthouse right now mixed with this cloud and the composition is to me absolutely perfect this side light is absolutely lovely um, the great thing about direct light like this it just lifts the whole scene um, it just kisses off angles and just touches part of the lighthouse and bits of the building and just bits of the composition and just lifts the whole scene whereas when the sun goes down and you get really nice colorful skies it is amazing but you don't really get any shadows and you don't really get any direct light so right now this sky mixed with this composition mixed with this direct light is absolutely on the money and I am dead excited about this shot. So it's 30 seconds f16 ISO 50 with a six stop ND, three stop soft, touch of polarization and that's it, two second timers and just let the magic happen and this is one of those moments where it's like absolutely spot on, just what I needed and uh, glad I got out with the camera today after work it just really really it just it's just so good it just makes you feel so good just bagging a really nice shot like this and it just it's really good for your morale and oh, I love it I absolutely love it I'll pop this image up on screen in two secs So that to me is probably one of my favorite shots I've ever got from Portland. And I've been here quite a few times in some amazing conditions. And the reason that is probably one of my favorite shots or probably the favorite shot I've ever got from here is just how simple it is. It's so simple. And in the edit there, I've barely done anything with that edit. I know now I've barely done anything with that edit because it's so, so good in camera because everything right now is just working perfectly. The light falls perfectly. The shadows aren't underexposed. The light isn't clipping, it's not overexposed and everything is just really balanced and it's balanced to my eyes right now and it looks really, really beautiful for my eyes. It's just one of those things and one of those moments that is just absolutely perfect and you don't really need to do anything with the edits at all because you've already done the work. Well, nature's already done the work. So it is getting progressively better and better and better. The sun is due to go down in about five minutes time. I've still been rattling off shots of this gorgeous light, slightly different compositions. And um, hopefully as the sun dips down as well, we will get some, some red and some fire behind, uh, behind the lighthouse. So I'm gonna keep on rattling off shots and fingers crossed we can bag another shot. So that was really pleasant and uh, definitely needed. Um, I, yeah, like I said earlier on, I think that is my first proper nice sunset at Portland Bill, which is is lovely, because uh, in a couple of weeks time, uh, on the 6th of September and the 20th of September, me and Duncan Graham are running our seascape workshops down here. So both of us have uh, teamed up and um, yeah, we're running some group workshops down here on Portland. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can have some, some nice light for those as well, or moody weather either works really well obviously 
Um, but I really love that image just before. As you can see, I posted an image then and it was nice with the color, but just the light, the one before, the light just lifts the whole scene. It just really makes it look absolutely gorgeous. So it's time to pack up now and um, yeah, get back and enjoy the rest of the evening. But that was really, really nice and I'm glad I came out. It was, it was definitely needed. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do consider clicking subscribe below. Give us a like. That's what you think down in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.